Six habits that are making men weak. Number one, instant gratification. In a world that promotes immediate pleasure and satisfaction, men have become lazy, weak, and depressed, unwilling to improve themselves. The other points he makes are mostly referring to the same thing. So let's focus on this one. He couldn't be more correct. You guys need to take responsibility for yourselves. That goes for both genders. But especially as a guy, in the past, if you wanted gratification, you had to earn it. It wasn't given to you for nothing. Nowadays, you can load up porn on the internet and trick your brain into complacency. Even there was a feminist a couple years ago that did a documentary on men's rights. Mm. And the whole documentary was aimed like she didn't she didn't like it going into it she like was like what 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 yeah, rights yeah, do yeah. men need mm. and she went into it changed her opinion and had a completely different opinion at the end she was like mm. you know what men are actually seen as lesser in society and are discriminated against that was her conclusion okay. and people protested the movie wow and and the sad part is i'll like i was on a show with these only fans girls uh -oh. and mm, i would probably give them mm, hard Six? I would give them sixes, like adjustable sixes. Yeah. But adjustable sixes can still like get attention yeah. from the type of guys, like because because the West is so bad, right? And I was like telling them, I'm like, you probably have a look that a lot of guys like that are in the category because they wanted like six figure guys, whatever. I was like, you're probably cute enough to get their attention, yeah. but because you put your body on the internet. Recreational use yeah, only. Yeah, now you're officially rec like you, you can't undo that. What makes this whole simping culture so dangerous is that men will deliberately choose women who are not tens, thinking that they're more approachable and give them money and attention, hoping that they will one day notice them. This kicks off a whole avalanche of social issues down the road, and it's obviously also downright pathetic. What I didn't realize was like just how society there's like open misandry against men and i'm sure at times i've been a part of it you know like i've definitely used phrases that really take accountability off of women like i remember i did an interview a couple of years ago and a dude talked about how his girl chased him with a knife and i said well what 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 did you do and like even that like what the hell why would i ask that i look back at that interview and i cringe i cringe the victim complex a low-value man will blame anything that goes wrong in his life on someone else. Something going wrong or something breaking down is never his fault. Now this links in with the lack of responsibility too. When they look at other people doing well and achieving their goals, they are instantly filled with envy and resentment and rather than just work a little bit harder or change something within themselves to improve their circumstances, they believe it's actually a lot easier to just blame someone else. An extremely low value man shows his weakness when it comes to playing the victim with women because he will use this tactic to manipulate women into feeling sorry for him so that they will take pity on him and try to help him and then that's kind of how he traps them. So if you want to avoid getting an Oscar for playing the world's biggest victim then I strongly suggest you take a look at yourself and improve the parts about you that you don't currently like. If you are constantly evolving and willing to educate yourself then you will most definitely not be a low value man. Like the point I made earlier, while I think that this does apply to both genders, it is way more detrimental for men to victimize themselves. What do you look for in a girl? In a girl? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I don't date either sex, so I don't look for nothing. <laughs> you don't date either sex? Nope. You celibate. You celibate your whole life? No. Why would you choose to do that if you don't mind sharing? Uh, I, don't, I don't like drama. Mm -hmm. How long have you been celibate for? 20 years. Is it that you're just celibate or you can't get none? Probably both. Who is Brayden? My son's friend. Can we go through a shot? My dog. 190 My day son. street. What? Honey, 190 day street. That is correct. Right, that's correct. So let's see what else is. Nah, this is, this is, these are. Whoa, whoa, hard eyes. You sent hard eyes to your son's best friend? It was. I don't even know what it was. How you don't know? I don't know. It was some picture he sent. Why are you? Why are you swiping out of it? I All see right. you. Huh? <laughs> good talking, man. You guys have a good. Okay, good what? luck on we're, your we're, project. We're, we're going home, man. Huh? We're, we're going home. You guys have a good night. All right? While this is not definitive proof that she's hiding something, 
it's already weird enough for a woman of her age to be invested in social media so much. And it's even weirder for her to communicate so extensively with her son's friend. Do not marry a person who is obsessively using social media. Find someone that has actual hobbies and make your ancestors proud.